Here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. Hello? Anybody here? Hi, the door was open. Drink this. What? What is it? Something that'll make you feel better. Drink it. Just a couple sips. Uh, no thank you. Don't make her drink any of your weirdo concoctions. Then I really will have to take her to the emergency room. You just go back to your phone call and leave us be. Don't pay him any mind. Where am I? You're at Henry Bollet's house, dear. In the library. He and I carried you in here after I found you unconscious in the foyer. Why is it so dark in here? The electricity went out. Lightning must have struck a transformer somewhere. What happened? Can you remember? Well, the front door was open, so I walked in, and then I saw this... Well, I saw a skeleton. And then he saw me. And then the light started flickering, and he threw something at me that exploded. The smoke must have made me pass out. You saw a skeleton? I'm sure it was just someone, you know, wearing a costume or something. I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. I came to see Henry. So we surmised. I'm Renee Amand. I'm Bruno Bolle's housekeeper. That is, I was. This skeleton that attacked you? Perhaps we should call the police. No. No emergency room. No police. Things are complicated enough as it is. Henry's feeling a mite overwhelmed. Well, you are looking much better, so I'm going to get back to my plant parting. You need anything? I'll be outside in the garden. I should call them and keep them on hold for five hours and see how they like it. I just found a glass eye. Did Bruno Bollet wear one? Yep. Wore a glass eye for as long as I can remember. Had a whole collection of them. Like to wear a different color every day.
Yes, hi, it's me. Hey, Nance, I just got back from shopping, which I am happy to report is fantastic here. So, what's going on with you? A lot. A lot is in a whole bunch of fun stuff? Let me start by telling you what happened when I arrived at Henry's house. I walked up to the front door and discovered it was open, so I walked in. You were knocked out by a skeleton wearing a red ascot? Someone dressed as a skeleton wearing a red ascot. You think it was a burglar? I'm not sure. I caught him or her sneaking around this scale model of a cemetery. And later, I found a tracing of something right by it. So if I could just figure out what it's a tracing of, and what, if anything, it has to do with that model cemetery, I might be able to figure out who Skeleton Man is. I know that tone of voice. You're not leaving there until you've done just that, are you? Oh, I also found some kind of receipt in the fireplace that may or may not be a clue. What's it a receipt for? That's what I need to find out. See, it's half burned up. All I can read is the receipt number and the name of the place it's from. Zeke's. Zeke's? You've got to be kidding me. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I'm sitting here on our balcony in the French Quarter looking down at a place across the street called Zeke's. That's great. So go over there and ask whoever's behind the counter what receipt number 21-3872 is for. You... you want me to snoop? I wouldn't call it snooping. Uh-uh, forget it. Not gonna do it. Beth... I'm not good at that sneaking around stuff, Nancy. I get nervous, my tongue gets all knotted up, my palms sweat to say nothing of my armpits. Beth, receipt number 21-3872. Just go in and ask what it's for. No big deal. Maybe not for you. Beth, you can do it. Mm, this is not gonna end well. I just know it. Okay. I'll call you as soon as it's over. I'll be waiting. Hey, doing a little end-of-the-day shopping, huh? See something you like? I like everything. That's what I want to hear. I'm Lamont. This is my place. So if you got any questions, I'm the guy to ask. Actually, I... I do have a question. Um, this friend of mine found the number of a receipt that came from this shop, and she asked me to ask you what the receipt is for. But if you're really busy, or you'd rather not, or it's against the rules... No problem. What's the number? Uh, 21-3872. 21-3872... Here we go. That ticket was for a large box of assorted unknown items I bought from Henry Beaulieu. And, uh, that's all I can tell you. Is something wrong? Look, I just don't want to make trouble for anyone, okay? Can you tell me what was in the box? It's still in the back room. I haven't had a chance to really go through it yet. Hey, is there something else I can help you with? Beads, hula dolls, old books. Got great deals on all of them. Is Henry Boulay a friend of yours? No, I met him at the reception at Bruno's house following the funeral. Gave Henry my card, said when he wanted to start liquidating, he should give me a call. Was Bruno a friend of yours? Well, I hear it, Bruno Boulay didn't have any friends. Mm, but I wish he had been my friend. I mean, that house of his is filled with junk. He kept everything. For someone in my business, the place is knick-knack heaven.
Seeing as this place is called Zeke's, and it's your place, shouldn't your name be Zeke? Guy I bought this place from wouldn't sell it to me unless I swore I wouldn't change the name. So I didn't. Funny thing was, his name wasn't Zeke either. But... Guess I'll check this place out some more. You got a question, just holler. <laughs> Ooh, they weren't kidding. Ooh, P U. This might come in handy. Good news and bad news, Nance. I found out that the receipt is for a box of stuff that Lamont, that's the guy who owns Zeke's, bought from Henry Bollet. No kidding. What kind of stuff did Henry sell him? That's the bad news. The box is in a back room, and it contains assorted unknown items, and that's all Lamont would tell me. Said something about not wanting to get anyone in trouble. So, looks like that's that. No, no, no. You've got to get into the back room and find out what's in that box. Which means you're probably going to have to, you know... Oh no, I'm not going to snoop, Nancy Drew. I told you, I'm a lousy snooper. You've got to, Bess. The place could close by the time I got down there and tried to do it myself. And knowing what's in that box could be really important. Could be? I'm supposed to risk life, limb, and liberty for something that could be important? Yes, I mean, no, I mean... Bess, please, just find a way to distract this Lamont guy. Look through the box and leave. You can do that, okay? You owe me, Nancy Drew. Oh, do you owe me. Oh, you're the greatest. You really are. <laughs> 